new from Vinegar Syndrome in 4K UHD no less, it's undefeatable from 1993, a Godfrey Ho um, film starring Cynthia Rothrock as Christy. And somewhat ex-gang member who still likes to have fights every now and again for money to help subsidise her wages. She works in a diner, she's trying to help her college uh, sister get through college by paying a lot of the bills. This is a way of subsidising the kind of money. There's a say, B story with a, a underground fighter who's lost his grasp on sanity, is kidnapping women, uh, blinding them, raping them, leaving their bodies. There's a cop investigating that who also happens to know Christy and her under ground fights as well and these kind of characters all come together in the culmination of hunting down this serial killer guy. <laughs> kind of typical stuff, it's really fun, it's really silly, it's over the top, it's got some of the wildest performances I have ever seen and to be honest the story some of the scenes are a little bit tedious, the over-the-top bad guy is downright hilarious. And what makes this thing something to be seen, it is utterly ridiculous and I love it because of that. How many times have I told you to behave yourself? I'm How many times have I told you to clean up your room? I'm sorry, Mommy. I won't do it again, I promise. There are so many moments where I was just laughing out loud at the film but enjoying it at the same time. The first fight that Christy has is ridiculously over the top. These people look out of place in this street. They start stomping their feet and chanting and it felt like it was going to burst into almost a West Side Story like antics. It's so ridiculous and so funny. I just went with it and enjoyed it. When we get to the bad guy, oh, the bad guy, the bad guy is so awful. Not just as a character, but as an actor. There are many sequences where it's just appalling, the, the choices that are made here. Now, that's not to mean that they're bad. They're just not right for this film care about Anna or me. You only care about the money. They're highly entertaining. This guy, every time he was on screen, was amazing. Amazing in all the wrong ways, so to speak. It's just a, a downright crazy performance that's so watchable and so enjoyable that I just loved it. Now, Cynthia Rothrock's character is good and she is fairly accomplished at what she's doing. This, she has enough dramatic chops to carry this kind of film and she does so exceptionally well and I kind of liked her performance. The story itself becomes a little bit tropey but it doesn't matter because it's punctuated with these really wonderful fight sequences which I really enjoyed. I like movies about people fighting like, well, gambling for it type of thing. And there are a couple of sequences here at the start. Uh, the one that felt like West Side Story was about to burst into song and the one later on with a college kid, which just, it feels like they're just picking these archetypes and just throwing them into a situation and letting the carnage unfold. But the carnage is really fun. So I can let it slide. Undefeatable is, it's not a great movie, not at all, but it's one of those ones that's highly entertaining. It's laugh out loud, ridiculous and funny. The type of thing that I can see myself watching again, not for the pleasure of these characters or the story, but because of the sheer ridiculousness of a lot of the choices. I could see me watching this with a group of friends, if I had any, but enjoying it and having a great wheel of a time anyway just laughing at the antics that were going on like I said it's ridiculous. Now the 4k um, comes with a couple of issues not that it's a poor quality it's vinegar syndrome it's exceptional as you would expect 
but you get to see some of the the way the effects are done. There's a moment later on where a character is lifted and because of the clarity of picture you can quite clearly see that he's got a holster in his belt that's lifting him up. It's not the fault of the film. The transfer's so good you can see everything. This is a ridiculous, over-the-top, crazy action film with some good action, some interesting acting choices and left me with a smile on my face having watched this oddball and definitely not good film. I'd love to know your thoughts on Undefeatable if you've seen it. I hope you have. Let me know in the comment box below your thoughts on this one. There's more content up here. You can see more of my stuff if you're interested. And in the comment box, the description box below, are links to the Patreon membership program, manvfilm.com. Always in which you can support me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.